Hello everyone. I hope and pray that you are well. I want to tell you a little story, something that I remember from about 15 years ago. It was a Sunday in March, uh, the day that the time changed. Uh, time changed from standard time to daylight savings time, uh, spring, right? So, so clocks had just sprung forward uh, the night before. Uh, just like they will, by the way, this weekend again. A little public service announcement, parenthetically for you. But anyway, so that's not the main point. And, and church that Sunday was going, it was pretty normal, right? Uh, maybe a little bit subdued because of the loss, loss of an hour's sleep for some, but, but pretty normal. That is, until about an hour into the worship service. Maybe just before 11 o'clock. That's when Allie Trulster walked in. Allie would have been, I think, probably around 80 or 82 years old at the time. And um, to this day, I don't know if she knew that she was an hour late for the worship service or not. I don't know if she was oblivious to that fact or if she just pretended nothing was wrong. Regardless, as I was just kind of ending, wrapping up the sermon, um, she walked up this aisle fairly slowly. She had her walker and she, she made her way all the way up to this second or third pew on the left-hand side if you're facing the front of the church, which was her pew. Um, and I think even that this pillow, this turquoise pillow, was her pillow. But you'll have to ask somebody who still sits in, in this area. And... and she must have sensed something was not quite right, but that didn't really seem to matter to her. This was her church, and she didn't care. Now, why am I telling you this story? Uh, in part because I hope that if you're running behind this Sunday, whether you realize it or not, I hope you still come and join us. Also, we hope that you know that whether your your kids or are sitting silently as church mice in church, or if they talk so loudly that people around you turn around, um, I hope you know that you're welcome. And whether you uh, are here in the sanctuary this Sunday feeling like COVID is over, or if you're watching from home with lingering COVID concerns, I hope that you know that you're part of the church family. And I hope you also know that those of us who, who lead parts of the service will make mistakes in leading. Uh, there will be sound system feedback. Some will sing slightly off key. Um, some of us will use the wrong word or even tell bad jokes. And we're certainly grateful that you offer the grace that you do as we essentially regroup and proclaim to one another, hey, you know, we're all in this together. Now, so if you're late this Sunday, you know what, with live streaming, of course, you've got an option that Ali Trulster didn't have available to her. You can always just be at home and watch online, and that's fine. But we also hope that you take steps to connect with others. Right? It can take a bit of effort. But it is so worth it for the sake of of your own self and your own relationship with God and others, and also for the sake of the church, that you're, uh, that you're part of a community that needs you. Uh, and certainly we uh, I agree that Christian community can be messy, but it also can be beautiful, very beautiful. Uh, I looked over in my office earlier today the, the memorial service for, for Ali Trulstra back in 2015. And, and it includes various idiosyncrasies about Allie. And uh, that, that she wasn't a great driver, but also that she was a loving mother. That she, she only received a, a grade six education, and that she struggled with depression from time to time. But she was also a keen Scrabble player and a student of the Bible. I tell you these things that because, you know, whether you've got things exactly right, like the time change, or if you've messed up on a few things, as have we all, we are glad to be in community together, right? I mean, this is where we 
uh, with, where we hope that we together experience the gracious forgiveness of Jesus Christ, even through each other, especially through each other. And so there's no pretending. We need you, and we dare say you need community. The peace of Christ be with you all.